सह वीरवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमा विद्विषा वह ओ शांतिशाशाति ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णात्पूर्णमुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेव वशिष्य ओ शाशा ओ आप्याय मंगा वाक्चक्षुश्रोत्रमथ बलमींद्रिया चर्वाणे सर्व ब्रह्म उपनिषद माहम ब्रह्म निराकुरिया ब्रह्म निराकरोराकरणमस्वराक मे अस्त तदात्मते यौपनिषत्सु धर्मास्ते मयि सत ते मयि सत शातिशातिशातिस्मृतिपुरा आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेरि मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमद्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमेतर मुद्गीतमुपीत ओमितुदाय तस्ोपव्या तदन्य आरमणशब्दादिभ्य न इं अवगति न उत्पद्यते शक्य वक्त You cannot say that this knowledge of the identity of Atma and Brahma, that this knowledge does not take place. The Upanishad says, "Tattva masi that the word Aham Brahma asmi, I am Brahma." That's all fine, but there is no way that this knowledge can take place. <coughs> Anu pajivya. द्वैत प्रमाण विरोधात् व्हाट्स रीजन बिकॉज उपजीव्य सो उपजीव्य उपजीव्य द्वैत प्रमाण विरोधात् बिकॉज द्वैत प्रमाण द परसेप्शन इज उपजीव्य मीनिंग दैट परसेप्शन इज द प्रमाण अपॉन विच ऑल द प्रमाण हैव डिपेंडेंस so perception is what sustains everything else it's a jeev upajeevan it's a livelihood for everything else and this non duality contradicts what perception reveals that how can it be true so now it has been established that upanishad reveals the identity of atma and brahma all right even if it is granted still that oneness contradicts or is opposed to the duality which is revealed by the perception 
and the rule is that all the pramanas all means of knowledge have their basis in perception so if you infer that there is fire in a certain place and when you go to that place and discover that there is no fire then that anumanam or inference is wrong because the knowledge arrived at by inference namely that there is fire contradicts perception therefore anything that contradicts perception cannot be so what the upanishads reveal non duality also since it contradicts the perception which reveals duality therefore this non duality cannot be its knowledge cannot take place iti navacham you cannot say that yam avagatihi na utpadyate iti that the knowledge of non duality does not take place you should not say that तद्धास्य विजग्न्यो इत्यादि श्रुतिभ्यः बिकॉज इट छंदोग्य उपनिषद क्लियरली सेज तद्द अस्य विजग्न्यो फ्रॉम द फादर श्वेतकेतु विज्ञातवान ही न्यू दैट आई एम ब्रह्मन सो दिस इज एविडेंस आनंदो ब्रह्मेति व्यजानात तैत्र उपनिषद आल्सो सेज दैट भृगु आल्सो केम टू नो दैट Ananda is Brahma. <coughs> so Upanishad itself is an evidence that this knowledge takes place. It is not something which is a figment of imagination, but something which is real. Avagadi sadhana nam cha, shravana di nam, vedan vachana di nam cha, vidhana. And the Upanishad also prescribes the process by which this knowledge takes place. so not only reveals the identity it says that this knowledge takes place and also tells you the means shravana dinam what we call the inner means antaranga sadanam shravanam shrotavyo mantavyo nidhyasitavya and bahiranga sadanam tametam vedanu vachanena so study of the veda yagna dana tapah all of these are said to be the bahiranga sadanam the external means iti vidhanat they are also prescribed <coughs> therefore ratna prabha said व्यावहारिक गुरु शिष्याद उपजीव्य इन अ वे द नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन ड्यूआलिटी ऑल्सो हैज इट्स बेसिस इन परसेप्शन ड्यूआलिटी वॉट ड्यूआलिटी द गुरु शिष्य भेद उपजीव्य द नॉलेज कैन टेक प्लेस ओनली वेन द गुरु इंपार द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द शिष्य ऑफ द डिसाइबल and that is where the duality is involved up to that point vakyartha gnyayamana vakyartha avagate so knowledge of the mahavakya takes place this set in the setup of the duality of the guru and shishya etc pratyakshadigatam व्यावहारिक प्रमाण उपजीव्य डेफर द व्यावहारिक प्रमाण विच इज परसेप्शन इज इज अ बेसिस इवन फॉर द नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन ड्यूआलिड इन एज मच एज इट प्री सपोज अ ड्यूआलिड बिटवीन द टीचर एंड द टॉट तच पारमार्थिक एक अवगत न विरुद्ध द नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन ड्यूआलिटी the perception of duality is not opposed to the reality of non duality it is non duality in spite of duality so even after the knowledge of non duality you continue to perceive the world and therefore 
that seeming duality continues to remain just as even when you have come to know that this is mirage water and so you know that what is there is only sand and still the perception of mirage water continues so perception of mirage water is not opposed to your knowledge that what is there is sand <coughs> kintu taya viroda anupajivyam pratyakshadeh but then the knowledge of non duality dismisses the reality the reality of the duality is dismissed by the knowledge of non duality <coughs> therefore anupajivyam pratyakshade tatvikam pramanyam badhyate therefore we do not say pratyaksha is not pramanam tatvikam pramanyam badhyate it is not the ultimate pramanam or not the absolute pramanam it is not the means of knowledge that reveals reality the perception reveals the world all right but it does not reveal the reality and therefore the knowledge of reality dismisses the conclusions you arrived at by the knowledge of duality in perception <coughs> on the page 380 Ratnavrava continues from the second line. Kincha egatva avagate phalavat pramatvat nishphalo dvaita brahmo madhya itya. Now egatva avagate, the knowledge of non-duality is phalavat pramatvat. That's prama. The knowledge of non-duality is prama meaning it is a valid knowledge phalavat which also is beneficial so, so knowledge that is beneficial is considered to be authoritative knowledge so knowledge should bring about some benefit result so knowledge of non duality brings about the benefit of freedom or moksha what does knowledge of duality bring about nothing Therefore, Dvaita Brahma Bhadya, the Dvaita of the duality is Brahma or delusion. It is negated by the knowledge of non-duality. Nichayam, so in the second line, Bhashyakara says, Nichayam avagatihe anarthika bhrantirva यदि शक्यम वक्तुम नच यम अवगते ही एंड दिस नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन ड्यूअलिटी यू कैन नॉट अनर्थिका यू कैन नॉट से दैट इट सर्व्स नो पर्पस एट ऑल इट इज मीनिंगलेस फ्यूटाइल यू नो यू कैन से दैट भ्रांतिर्वा और दैट इट इज मेली डिल्यूजन दे से you say that i am brahman but that could very well be a delusion it's a delusion that you are brahman you think you are brahman so you can't say that i am brahman is delusion you cannot say that this knowledge does not produce any benefit also it does anarthakya <clears> bhave <throat> he tumah See, Nyayanandana also said, Nanu avagatihi utpannapi na arthavati. Says that, all right, we accept that knowledge takes place. He said knowledge doesn't take place. So, we showed knowledge takes place. All right. See, one by one is yielding the ground, you know. So, knowledge takes place, we accept. But then, na arthavati, even the knowledge takes place, that knowledge does not yield any result any benefit why siddhe arthe swarupena phala abhavat after all what does this reveal siddhe arthe reveals what is that you are brahman that you have a you have two lungs what's the big deal that i have a heart i have a pancreas so this is knowledge of 
what is already there according to mimamsa caste that does not serve any purpose at all when you know something that you did not don't have about swarga etc then that knowledge is meaningful this knowledge of what is is not meaningful siddhe arthe swarupena phala abhavat siddhe arthe means what what is already existing swarupena phala abhavat therefore it does not yield any result at all knowing that this is day okay that this is rose okay so this knowledge reveals siddhartha what is already existing and therefore what purpose does it serve manantara virodhatva so na arthavati secondly because this knowledge of non duality contradicts the duality which is revealed by perception therefore it can be bhranti manantara virodha itsu nachayam dev vashyakara said nachayam avgatihi anarthika bhrantirvayati shakyam vaktum anarthakya bhave hetumah why do you say that this knowledge is purposeful on what basis so vashyakara is avidyayati avidya nivrutti phala darshana so what's the result of this knowledge knowledge dispels ignorance there were ignorance of self is dispelled by this knowledge and all the brahma the delusion and all the unhappiness or sorrow born of the delusion all of this is gone just as when you take the rope to be a snake then that false perception creates a new fear etc when you come to know that this is rope it is arthavat that knowledge serves a purpose because it has removed the ignorance about the rope and when the ignorance goes all the brahma or the delusion created from the ignorance also goes away and fear and palpitations also go away <coughs> भ्रांतित्व भाव हे तुम इन दट दिस नॉट ए भ्रांति वॉट्स रीजन भाषाकार से बाधक ज्ञानांतर अभावाच वंस ए नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन ड्यूअलिटी टेक प्लेस देर इज नो अदर प्रमाण दैट कॉन्ट्रडिक्स दैट इवन परसेप्शन डिज नॉट कॉन्ट्रडिक्स द नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन ड्यूअलिटी अंडरस्टैंड देन यू नो दैट ड्यूअलिटी इज मिथ्या the duality is a brahma you no more give it reality just as even though you perceive the mirage water still you know that it is mithya and therefore that perception does not displace in your mind the knowledge of sand similarly also the perception of duality does not displace if it displaces then you can say that it is bhranti for example the knowledge of rope displaces the knowledge of snake therefore the knowledge of snake was a bhranti similarly if knowledge of duality displaces the knowledge of non duality then you can say that non duality is bhranti but no your knowledge that i am brahman continues even though you are you perceive the body you perceive the mind you perceive the world you perceive all of this and still all that perception does not displace the knowledge samam sarveshu bhuteshu tishthantam parameshwaram the parameshwara is he equally abides in all the beings vinashatsu avinashantam the one among many the indestructible the immortal among the mortal and so this is how it is nityo anityanam chetanas chetananam the one who is nitya eternal among the perishable chetanam chetanas chet that one who is chetanam the one that imparts the consciousness or sentience to everything this knowledge does not go and never 
माना सो बाद कांतर अभावाच्च वन दिस नॉलेज टेक्स वन शुड नो दैट दिस इज एन एक्टर सो फॉर यू थॉट दैट दे वाज अ किंग दे वाज अ बेगर दे वाज अ मिनिस्टर यू थॉट दे वर ऑल डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच अदर बट वन शुड कम टू नो दैट इन फैक्ट इट इज एन एक्टर एंड दैट किंग इज मिथ्या बेगर इज मिथ्या प्रधान इज मिथ्या वन द नॉलेज इज टेक प्लेस then even when that person comes in the guise or with the costume of king you're not deluded anymore you realize that to take that person as king was delusion and that he is actor <coughs> says nay nirne nahi pratyakshaadi badakam tasya kalpita dvaita vishayatvena tatvika advaita प्रमेय अविरोधादित्यर्थ है सो परसेप्शन एक्सेट्रा डज नॉट डिस्प्लेस और डज नॉट निगेट द नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिवालिटी कल्पित द्वैत विषय बिकॉज परसेप्शन हैज इट्स को विथ रेफरेंस ड्यूआलिटी विच इज ओनली मिथ्या और प्रोजेक्टेड वेर एज नॉन ड्यूआलिटी सी इज द रियालिटी द बेसिक रियालिटी इन दर दैट भ्रम डज नॉट इन एनी वे contradictory reality <clears throat> then says the ratna prabha nanu sarvasya dvaitasya mithyatve so you are claiming that all dvaita or duality is mithya is unreal is a projection is a delusion okay then jagrat satyam to swapno mithya jagrat satyam but in this mithya also there are divisions we say that swapno mithya jagrat satyam the waking is real the dream is mithya in mithya how can you have this that's the question see how through the argument vashyakara is giving us the vision of the reality and how there is non duality in spite of duality how that is there is exactly what is being explained here so swapno mithya jagrat satya mithya adi lokiko vyavahara hai in duality life we say that this is real water mirage water is the mithya water so in mithya also there is real and mithya how can it be or satyam cha nrutam cha satyam abhavat o satya di parmatma became satya and anuta real and unreal whatever that is parmatma became so they talk of satyam shuti also talks about satyam vyavahar also talks about satyam in duality so whole duality can't be mithya in duality also there are divisions such as satyam and mithya so you can say that some duality is mithya like dream is mithya but waking is real like mirage water is mithya but this water with which you can quench your thirst is real so in mithya everything can be mithya sarvasya mithya to if everything was mithya then this division of satya and mithya cannot be in the vyavahara or in the in the shruti iti ashankya yatha swapne idam satyam idam anutamiti tatkalik abad abadabhyam vyavahara in the dream also you have the real water and mirage water tatkalik abad abadh abadh abhyam in dream also the mirage water is negated when you come to know that it is sand in dream also the dream snake is negated when you come to know that it is rope so how the whole dream is mithya when you wake up but when you are dreaming it is not mithya you think it is real so this division of satya and mithya are because you think that the waking is real therefore you are making those divisions 
But when you realize that the whole Dvaita is Mitya, everything is Mitya. As Manduke, Karika, group, everything in one. Not only dream is Mitya, waking also is Mitya. And there were Grahanam, Anyatha Grahanam, that's all. So perception of reality and Anyatha Grahanam, non, non percept or wrong perception. Agrahanam or Anyathagrahanam, non-perception and false perception. So both waking and dream were lumbered as Anyathagrahanam. So once you come to know the, dual, the non-duality, then this division does not remain. Until then, the division appears to be there. A seeming division is there between Satya and Mithya. Yatha Swapna Idam Satyam Idam Anutamiti Tatkalika Bada Abada Bhyam. When you are in dream, at that time the real water is not negated Abada, and mirage water is negated Bada. So in dream also, whatever is negatable, you take it to be Mithya, and what is non negatable, you take it to be Satyam, but then the whole dream turns out to be Mithya. Tatha dirga swapne pe. So also, waking is also like a dream. It is a long dream. Anadi maya suptaha. This person is sleeping in the sleep of the maya which is beginningless. So this is called dirga swapna. But the same rule applies. The rule that applies to dream also applies to waking which is also which is a reality comparable to that of dream <coughs> prakcha so vashakara says prakcha atmaikatva avagate avyahata sarva satyanurta vyavahara Laukika ha Vaidikascha Ityavo Chama Prakcha Atmaikatva Avagatehe Atmaikatva Avagatehe Prak So before Avagati the knowledge of the non duality of self being where as long as you are not waken up Yes Sakshat Kurute Prabodhasamaya Swatmana Mevadvayam Prabodhasamaya When one wakes up to the reality Then one recognizes the Atma as non-dual Until then the Atma was thought to be different from other Atmas So Prakcha Atmekatvagate Avyahatah Sarva Sarva Satyanuda Vyavahara Before the knowledge of non duality takes place, this Vyavahara, the duality is taken to be real. And therefore, the division of Satya and the Mithya, the real and unreal in the waking, also are taken to be real until you realize that the whole thing is Mithya. Lokikaha Vaidikascha. Even Vedas also accept this seeming duality. Vedas also accept the seeming duality and instruct us how to conduct ourselves in duality so that we can grow out of duality. In the Vedas, the Bhavishyadvritya Knowing that this person, we are going to teach him non-duality when he is ready. So until the person is ready for the knowledge of non-duality, Vedas also accept for the time being the duality which this fellow thinks is real and instructs him what to do, what not to do, so that in course of time you can grow out of the duality. So Vedikascha Vyavharasya Vaidika Siddhi Avochama, we already said it, so he's just reminding. Where did you say?
सी थ्री सेवेंटी सेवन सर्व व्यवहाराणाम प्राग ब्रह्मता विज्ञान सत्य तो उपपत्ते है सो बिफोर द नॉलेज ऑफ वन ने सब ब्रह्मन द सेल्फ ऑल द व्यवहार आई स्टेक एंड बी रियल सो वी ऑल रिस सो सही रत्न प्रभा व्यवहारार्थम नानात्व सत्यम कल्पनम असंगत उपसंहरते सो व्यवहारार्थ द पूर्व पक्षी वाट यू कॉल परिणाम वादी एक्सेप्टेड दैट द ड्यूआल इट इज रियल फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग व्यवहार How can there be this interaction and transaction in your life if the duality was not real? So Vedanta explained that the duality does not have to be real for the vyavahar to take place. Just as in dream also, you think that it is real. So even though in the dream all vyavahar goes on, even only when we recognize, when we wake up, that the dream was mitya. Similarly, all the vyavahar. in duality takes place because we think that it is real when you wake up to the true knowledge then you realize that all of this is unreal <coughs> meaning that to explain this vyavahara there is no need for you to give reality to duality until the mithya is known as mithya it is taken to be real स्वकाले सत्यवत भाति द ड्रीम ऑल्सो अपियर्स टू बी रियल इन इट्स ओन टाइम सो जस्ट बिकॉज इट अपियर्स टू बी रियल और यू टेक इट टू रियल डज नॉट मीन दैट इट हैज टू बी रियल सुभाष शेखर से तस्मा अंत्य न प्रमाण न प्रतिपादिते आत्मिक समस्त प्राचीन से भेदव्यवहार से बाधि न अनेकात्मक ब्रह्मकल्पना अवकाशोस्ते तस्मादर अंत्येन प्रमाणेन प्रतिपादिते आत्मिक अंत्यम प्रमाण उपनिषद इज दि कंक्लूडिंग प्रमाण दि अल्टिमेट प्रमाण दट वॉज एक्सप्लेन हाउ हैविंग नोन द रियालिटी रिवील बाय द उपनिषद देन नथिंग मोर रिमेन्स टू बी नोन एंड इट इज अ नॉलेज दैट कैनॉट बी कॉन्ट्रडिक्टेड बाय एनीथिंग एल्स दैट्स वाई इट्स कॉल अंत्यम प्रमाण there is no improvement in that it cannot be improved upon it cannot be negated it always stands on its own because it is self revealing pratipadite atmaikatve so upanishad with antyam pramanam which only expounds the non duality of atma or the self when that happens samastasya प्राचीन से भेद व्यवहार से बाधित देन यू रियलाइज दट ओ वट ऑल यू थॉट टू बी रियल इज नॉट रियल जस्ट एज इन द ड्रीम एवरीथिंग अपियर्स टू बी रियल वेन यू वेकअप देन यू रियलाइज दिस वॉज ऑल माई इमेजिनेशन सो सो वेन ए पर्सन वेक्स फ्रॉम दिस लॉन्ग ड्रीम यक्षात कुरते प्रबोध समय दैट प्रबोध इज नॉट वेकिंग अप फ्रॉम द रेग्युलर डे टू डे स्लीप it is waking up from the sleep of ignorance atmanam eva dvayam of course when you wake up from the dream also you realize that you alone were there in the dream that the the conclusion of duality was wrong so also the wise person recognizes that the self is non dual and that it thought that the world was different etc was all mithya न अनेकात्मक ब्रह्मकल्पना अवकाश अस्ति 
Therefore, there is no scope for imagining the Anekatmakam Brahma, that Brahma is dual as well as non-dual. It is Karya Karanatmakam. As Karya it is many, as Karana it is one. There is no need, you know, to imagine those kind of things to explain Vyavahara. It is not a composite entity, it is a homogeneous entity. <coughs> So Ratna Prabhupada says, So Kalpanam Amrushyamana Shautameva Brahmana Anikatmam says, Ratna idam kalpitam kintu shrutam iti shankate. <coughs> so Puro Pakshi says, Who says that we are imagining that Brahman is uh, Parinami? We are not imagining that Brahman undergoes transformation. See, the cause undergoes transformation to become effect. As cause, it is non-dual. As effect, it is dual. This is the Parinamavada. <coughs> so we are not imagining that. The Shruti herself says that. So says Nanuiti. Nanu Brudadi Dushtanta Pranayanat. Parinavad Brahma Shastrasya Avimatam Itigamyate Parinam Yanohi Brudadeha Arthaha Loke Samadigataha Iti Hey, your Shruti gives example of clay and pot. Yatha ekena murtpindena saram. Now, this example creates a problem. Bhashyakara's favorite example is rope snake. But that example never appears anywhere. Not in the Upanishads, not in the Vedas. Or Shuktika Rajat. The only example that appears is only in one place. And that is Chandogya Upanishad. Yatha somya. Ekena Mrutpindena Saram Runmayam Vignatam Sya Vasa Thank God that statement is there Otherwise I don't know what the Vedantins should have done But that statement is there The whole Sutra is based on that statement Arambana Shabda Adibya So your Sutra is based on this statement Which says that the dual this, The Vikara or the modification has its beginning in speech. All right. But what's the example given of the clay and the pot? What is pot? The clay undergoes transformation to become the pot. By knowing the clay, you know all the vessels or whatever is made out of clay. So that's an example of parinama, of transformation. Mrudadi drishtanta pranayanat parinam. So then naturally, Drishtanta and Darshtanta, the illustrated and the illustrated must be compatible. The Drishtanta and Darshtanta must be compatible. Therefore, if Drishtanta of the clay and the pores presupposes Parinama, involves Parinama or transformation, that means that Brahman, which is Darshtanta, which is illustrated also, must be Parinama Vada, it also must have undergone transformation to become this Jagat. Iti Shastrasya Abhimatam, Shastra also seems to think that Brahman undergoes transformation, that is why Shastra gives the example of clay and part of the modification. Iti Gamyate. Says Nyayanirane, Katham yathokta drushtanda avashtam vat parinami brahma iti brahma shrautam iti ashankya. From this example, how do you conclude that brahma undergoes transformation? Says drushtanda darshtanda kayo samya dravya, we already said. The drushtanda and darshtanda, darshtanda, drushtanda, the illustration, darshtanda, what is illustrated, they must be compatible. Dhruvyad must be compatible. As a rule, they must be compatible. 
and therefore Brahman also must be Parinami. So Puru Bhakshi said, Parinami no hi Murda Deha Arthaha Loke Samadhikataha. This Murda Deha, Murud, etc., because several examples were given. Yatha Somya Ekene Loha Marina Naka Nikrantana, etc. So example of gold was given, example of iron was given, example of all of this, not one. Each one of them is what? Mruda Deha, Arthaha, Loke, Samadhikataha. Everybody understands all these substances as Parinami, as undergoing transformation. <coughs> Therefore, for compatibility of the Drishtanta and Darshtanta, illustration and illustration, illustrated, you to accept that Brahma is Parinami. It undergoes transformation. Therefore, what we are saying is true. That has caused Brahman is one. As a fact, it is many. That Brahman has undergone a transformation in the form of Jagat or duality. So, says Ratna Brahma. Now, Dushta, see what clarification, clarity is given here. Take the Dushtanda also can create problems. Like when we told the tenth man story, this person gets up and asks the question, Swamiji, last time you told the tenth man story, you said that a Brahmachari came along and told these people that you are this person, that you are the tenth man. Today you say that an old man came along. So what is real? What is true? So which amsha, which aspect of the drishtanta must be taken into account? That is important. There cannot be compatibility between drishtanta and dashtanta in all the aspects. So see, Ratnarva, Kari Karanayoho, Ananyatva Amshe, I am drishtanta. The drishtanta is not meant to convey that Brahman is like a clay which undergoes transformation, it is only meant to convey that just as clay which is material cause the effect is not apart from clay so also the world is not apart from Brahman so that is what that amsha that aspect alone is compatible and not the whole drishtanta na parinamitve as far as parinamitva is concerned meaning as far as transformation aspect is concerned the drishtanta darshtanta is not meant to inherit that amsha or that aspect of drishtanta or illustration. Brahmana kutas tattva shruti virodhat because about Brahman things are said in many places. What does the shruti say about Brahman elsewhere? In more than one place shruti says that Brahman is kutasam changeless. Kutastha Machalam Dhrum Gita also says that Brahman or Atma is Kutastha changeless is very clearly stated. So therefore now Shruti also seems to contradict this statement of the clay and the pot example seems to suggest that Brahman may be Parinami or undergoing transformation. But in many other places, Shruti clearly says that Brahman is nirvishesham, devoid of all the adjectives, devoid of all the attributes, and therefore it is niravayavam, it is partless, and therefore it is kutastam, changeless. So, what should we conclude from now? Point is, what should we conclude from this Shruti of the clay and pot? Now then Shruti cannot contradict itself. Therefore interpretation of this statement should be compatible to or consistent with what Shruti says elsewhere. You cannot interpret a statement simply based on the words literally but a statement of the Shruti must be interpreted based on what is said elsewhere because the whole body of Upanishad is Pramanam. Therefore, Kutas Tattva Shruti Virodhat, your conclusion that Brahma is Parinami 
or undergoing transformation will contradict the Shruti or the, the statement of Upanishads where it says that Brahman is Kutastham, changeless. So that's what the next one says. Naiti Uchyade We say no. That conclusion from this Drishtanta that Brahman is Parinami that is not the right conclusion. Bhashakara says, what are the other shrutis where the, they say that Brahman is Kutastham? Sava Esha Mahanaja Atma Ajaraha Amaraha Amrutaha Abhayaha Brahma Saesha Netinetyatma Asthula Mananu Ityadya Bhyaha Sarva Vikriya Pratisheda Shruti Bhyaha Brahmanaha Kutasthatva Avagamad Says Bhadarataka Upanishad Sabai Esh Mahan Aja Atma This Atma is Mahan is great Ajaha, birthless. Ajaraha, free from decrep- old age, decrepitude. Amaraha, free from death. Amrutaha, immortal. Abhayaha, fearless. Brahma, limitless. See, nowhere Kutastha word is used. If it was used, then Bhashakara would have quoted that. But what, do this, what does this Shruti statement say? that Brahman is devoid of all vikara. Brahman is nirvikaram ajo nitya shashvatoyam puranaha nahanyate hanyamane sharire In that manner, all vikaras, all modifications are denied in Atma. Similarly here also, it is birthless and deathless and free from old age, meaning shad bhava vikara rahitaha Atma. Atma is devoid of all the bhava vikara, the modifications that other entities go through. Sa neti neti iti atma. It is not this, not this, meaning that all vikaras or modifications are negated in atma. It is not cause, it is not effect, it is not gross, it is not subtle, etc. That way, all modifications are negated in Brahma, revealing thereby that Brahma is nirvikaram, kutastham, changeless. <coughs> Asthulam ananu. It is not sthulam, it is not gross, ananu, it is not minute, and so on and so forth. So all grossness, minuteness, all of this is negated in Brahman. So Brahman is nirvishesham. It is the word of all attributes, all adjectives. Nirvishesh, that means that it has no form, it has no weight, it has no attribute at all. So it has no form, it is not, no, no parts, it is partless, not subject to modification. So, Brahman by nature is such that it cannot undergo Parinama. See, when you interpret something, then you must take into account what you are interpreting. What does the Upanishad say about Brahman elsewhere? That Brahman is Kutastam, changeless. It is partless. And therefore, it cannot be Parinami. So, this Shruti statement should be interpreted accordingly. Even though the example of the clay and the pots, etc. are given, Still, the interpretation of this Shruti should be consistent with what the Shruti says elsewhere. <coughs> so, how to interpret this example? That's the whole point here. <coughs> says, Shruti Dve Anurodha, all right. There are two Shrutis. 
वृद्वंश रुदि यथा सौम्य एक मृत पिंड सो हाउ बाय नोइंग वन पार्ट ऑफ क्ले एविथिंग मेड ऑफ क्ले इज नोन दैट टॉक्स अबाउट द परिणाम एंड सवा एश महान जात्मा एक्सेट्रा दे टॉक अबाउट द ब्रह्मन बींग चेंजलेस सो वन श्रुति से ब्रह्मन इज चेंजिंग अदर श्रुति से ब्रह्मन इज चेंजलेस लेट एस टेक बोथ द श्रुति श्रुति द्वे अनुरोधा कूटस्थत्व परिणाम सो सी इज अ वेरी क्लेवर आर्ग्यूमेंट वेल बोथ द श्रुति सो टेक बोथ ऑफ देम शुड बी टेकन इन लिटरली सो वन श्रुति से ब्रह्मन इज परिणाम अदर श्रुति से ब्रह्मन इज कूटस्थ सो वाई नॉट बोथ एस कॉज इट इज कूटस्थ एज इफेक्ट इट इज परिणाम वाई नॉट All right. So if this is so, then yoga path krame na vaiti. Please tell us: Is Brahman simultaneously changing and changeless, or is it krame na in sequence? Now it is changeless, then it is changing. Thus, in sequence it is changing and changeless, or simultaneously changing and changeless. Please tell us. Iti vikalpya. आद्यम विरोधेन निरस्यति इट कैन नॉट बी साइमल्टेनियसली चेंजिंग एंड चेंजेस बिकॉज इट इज सेल्फ कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी वन एंटिटी कैन नॉट हैव सेल्फ कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी धर्मास सन्नाप्य सन्नाप उभयात्मिका नो वन कैन नॉट बी साइमल्टेनियस सत एन सत एट सेट एट सेट ऑल्सो वन एंटिटी इन दिस केस ब्रह्मन कैन नॉट बी साइमल्टेनियसली both changing and unchanging it is contradictory in terms so yugapat simultaneously it cannot be so nahi bhashya kara says nahi ekasya brahmanah parinam dharmatvam tad rahitatvam cha shakyam pratipattum nahi एक से ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मन इज वन देर आर नॉट मैनी ब्रह्म इफ देर मोर देन वन ब्रह्म यू कैन से दिस ब्रह्म इज चेंजिंग अदर ब्रह्म इज चेंज लेस बट इट इज एक द्वितीय इट इज वन विदाउट अ सेकंड देव इट मस्ट हैव अ कंसिस्टेंट नेचर देव एक से ब्रह्मण परिणाम धर्मत्व तद रही तत्व च साइमल्टेनियसली इट अंडर गोज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड इज चेंज लेस न शक्यम प्रतिपत्त हाउ विल यू विजुअलाइज दट टेल एस कैन यू विजुअलाइज वन एंड चेंजिंग एंड चेंजलेस वेन यू विजुअलाइज चेंजिंग द चेंजलेस गोज अवे वेन यू थिंक ऑफ चेंजलेस चेंजिंग गोज अवे सो साइमटेनियसली यू कैन नॉट विजुअलाइज चेंजिंग एंड चेंजलेस वन एंड डी कैन नॉट बी पजेस्ट ऑफ दिस कॉन्ट्रडिक्टरी एट्रीब्यूट द्वितीय शंकत है सो पूर्व पक्षी से इज नॉट साइमल्टेनियसली बट क्रमेण नाउ ब्रह्मन इज चेंजलेस देन इट इज चेंजिंग हाउ अबाउट दैट सो से स्थिति थी और एज रत्न प्रभा से सृष्टो परिणाम प्रलय द्राहित्यम च क्रमेण अविरुद्धम सृष्टो परिणाम सो वेन सृष्टि इज देर वेन the sustenance creation is there then brahman is changing pralay when dissolution is there it becomes changeless so why not kramena parinamitvam kutastvam idhi drishtantena shankara that is possible that something has one nature now and a different nature elsewhere later is possible at other time so drishtant the purva pakshi gives the drishtant to say how at one point a thing can be one thing at other point it can be another thing gives example here sthiti iti sthiti gati vachya iti che hey devadatta is standing now and running later it is possible so when devadatta is standing he is changeless motion less put it this way and when he's running he is possessed of motion so motionlessness and possessed of motion both of these are possible in one devadatta 
Kramena, now motionless, then moving. So also Brahman can be changing while there is creation and changeless while there is dissolution. How about that? Give an example, put, you know, just throw an idea. The burden is to prove on the part of the Siddhantin, the burden is to prove. That fellow just put like Mamro Mukha, you know, he just, just puts one idea, that's all. Then it is your burden. They say that you are innocent until proven wrong. Here it is, you are wrong until proven innocent, you know. Says Nyaya Nirne or Ratnavara Kutas Tasya Kadachidapi Vikriya Nayukta Kutas Tattu Vyagha Rad Ityaha. What is called Kutas? What is changeless? It is something that can never undergo change, then alone it can be called changeless. Otherwise, even when it is not changing, you cannot call it changeless because the potential of change is there. You follow? You say that Brahman is changing, changeless in pralaya as cause and changing during the sustained creation as effect. But then you can't say that as cause also is changeless because potential change is there. So an entity can be either changing or changeless. It cannot be both. <coughs> so Kuta says a kadachita vikriya nayukta. At no time what is changeless can be changing, can have vikriya or modification. Kutas tattva vyagata, otherwise that will contradict the very idea of kutas tattvam or changelessness. Sva swarupa, swarupa prachyudi prasangat. See, Brahman is Kutastham in nature. Then when it starts changing, then what has happened? Swarupa Prachyutihi It has fallen from its own Swarupa. It has given up its Swarupa. It cannot be. What is called Swarupa? Swarupa is that which can never be negated. Fire is hot at all the times. Today or tomorrow. Here or there. It cannot be that in India fire is hot, in America fire is cold, or on earth fire is hot, we will go to moon that it will be cold. It can't be. Because heat is the nature of fire. It can never be devoid of its nature. Otherwise, it will not remain fire. Apahagad agnehe agnitvam. Fire will no remain fire. If it is not hot, so fire must be hot always, today and tomorrow. Similarly, Brahman is kutastham or changeless, it must be changeless always. Otherwise, it will be, it will have fallen from its own swarupa, which cannot be. So, na iti. Na kutasthasya iti visheshanat. No, we have specifically say that Brahman is Kutastham, changeless. The changelessness is the nature of Brahman. And one can never be devoid of one's nature because one will cease to exist. If fire is devoid of heat, then it will cease to be fire. So Kutastham, changelessness is what characterizes Brahman. And therefore, if at any time Brahman is devoid of changelessness, it is not Brahman anymore. So then what is changing is not Brahman. You follow? Suppose you say that Brahman is changing, then if it is changing, it is not Brahman at all. So Brahman cannot change. Something else can change. <coughs> Tadeva's Futayati, that is clarified by Vashyakara in the next page. Nahi Kutasthasya Brahmanaha Sthiti Gativata Aneka Dharma Shaitvam Sambhavate Nahi Kutasthasya Brahmanaha Brahman which is Kutastham or changeless Sthiti Gativata 
अनेक धर्माश्रयत्व संभव दी देवदत्ता इज बाय नेचर चेंजिंग देर फॉर राइट नाव इज स्टैंडिंग एंड देन इज रनिंग राइट नाव इज मोशनलेस देन इज मूविंग बिकॉज चेंज टू चेंज इज ए नेचर ऑफ देवदत्ता बट दैट कैन नॉट बी विद इन ब्रह्मन शेष न्याय निर्णय परिणाम नाम ही बाण पाषाणादीना क्रमेण स्थिगति स्थितिगति युक्त बाण मीन्स एन एरो सो वेन इट इज ऑन द बो इट इज मोशनलेस वेन इट इज रिलीज फ्रॉम बो इट इज मूविंग और पाषाण इज रॉक और स्टोन वेन इट्स इन योर हैंड इट इज मोशनलेस वेन यू थ्रो इट इज मूविंग दिस इज पॉसिबल फॉर दोज विच आर सब्जेक्ट टू चेंज परिणामी नाम दोज वार उज नेचर इट इज ट्रेंडो को चेंज और ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर देम अलोन दिस इज पॉसिबल दैट नाव इट इज नॉन मूविंग देन इट इज मूविंग नदू परिणाम अयोग्य से बट ब्रह्मन डजन है योग्यता ब्रह्मन कैन नॉट है परिणाम और चेंज एट ऑल बिकॉज दिस इज नथिंग इन ब्रह्मन कैन ब्रिंग अबाउट चेंज दैट इज द थिंग See, Brahman can change, or anything can change, provided there is potential to change. A fruit can start rotting because the fruit has the potential of rotting. Various insects can be created in the fruit, for example, and the fruit can rot. But a stone cannot rot because there is no potential in the stone to rot. Similarly, what can change? that which is a potential to change so stone is a potential to change arrow has a potential to change but brahman has no potential to change therefore how can it change parinama ayogyasya kramena parinama tad rahite brahmanasya na syatam for brahman that now it is changing then it is changeless is not possible nahi और एस रत्नवासेस कूटस्थस्य निरवयवस्य पूर्व रूप त्यागेन अवस्थान्तरात्मक परिणामात् परिणाम अयोगात् सुक्ति रजतवत् विवर्तेव प्रपंचे इति भावः कूटस्थम चेंजलेस इज नेसेसरीली पार्ट निरवयवम पार्टलेस आल्सो सी व्हाट कैन चेंज That which is a composite entity. What is composite entity? Having consisting of parts. So Devadatta is an individual having parts, having limbs. So limbs can change, and so limbs are in one situation. You call it motionless, and another, another, another state. So it changes from one state to the avastantar. So these limbs are in one avastha or one state when they are motionless, and they are in a different state when they are moving. That is possible for that which is parts, because parts can be rearranged. They can they can they, you configure. So parts can have different configuration, but partless cannot have any configuration at all. So what is parinama? Pura rupa tyage na avasthan taratma katvam. Like the milk changes into transforms into curd, pure rupa tyage na gives up its milkness and becomes curd. This is called parinama. This kind of parinama. This is not possible for Brahman. That is partless because it is no rupa. Pure rupa tyage na rupa avasthan taratma ka parinama. If Brahman had a rupa. It had a form, made of parts. Then it could give up its form and assume a different form. But Brahman is formless, partless, and therefore avastantara. Then it can change. It can assume a different state. Is not possible. Then how to explain the world? See that there is a universe of duality. This is a nice explanation that Brahman has undergone a transformation to become the Jagat. How will you, if you don't accept transformation in Brahman, then how do you explain the jagat? 
Where did it come from? So says Vedantin, Vivartaheva, so Shukti Rajadabhat, Vivartaheva Prapanchahaiti Bhavaha. We say that Prapanch is Vivarta, it is projection and not a transformation. Meaning the world of names and forms is superimposed upon Brahman, Asti Bhadi Priyam, and not that Asti Bhadi Priyam undergoes a transformation in the form of name and form. So Vivarta. These are all Katora Dao. So, all these arguments are ready with Vedantin. He knows where that fellow is coming from. From which understanding the arguments are made that you should understand. Then alone you can come up with the right argument to correct that understanding. Here the intention is not to defeat him or something like that. To correct his understanding. This is a way of teaching. Because whether there is a Puru Paksha or not, our own mind can raise all these questions. And these questions need to be resolved. So this is Mananam. Mananam is, means removing all the various doubts. And that is what is going on here in these arguments. Okay. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnama Daya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhashya Krutau Vande Bhagavantau Punaf Punah Ishvaro Guru Ratmedi Murti Veda Vibhagine Vyoma Vadvyapta Dehaya Dakshina Murta Yenamah Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om